This is News Trail, your daily dose. Welcome to News Trail this Friday, January 19, 2024. I am Maditola Kayodin. The Federal Ministries of Health, Industry, Trade and Investment have been asked to refund a total of 85 billion naira meant to mitigate the effects of COVID-19 pandemic in 2020. The House of Representatives Public Accounts Committee, who issued this order, also gave the Rural Electrification Agency 24 hours to provide all necessary documents to back up monies released to it from the COVID Intervention Fund for medical facilities across the country. Chairman House Committee and Public Account Bamidili Salam gave the ruling in Abuja during the ongoing probe of concerned ministries, departments and agencies on the utilization of the COVID-19 fund. When interrogated, the concerned ministries failed to convince the committee on how the funds were utilized. The Super Eagles of Nigeria have defeated Ivory Coast in their second match at AFCON, boosting its credibility as one of the favorites to lift this year's camp. Defender William Trust Ekong gave the Nigerian team a 1-0 lead from the penalty spot in the 55th minute after striker Victor Osime was bundled by Ivorian defenders in the penalty box. Before the goal, both teams have had their chances with the Nigerian team being the most wasteful in front of goals. Nigeria is now locked at four points at the top of the group alongside Equatorial Guinea, with Ivory Coast behind them on three points and Guinea-Bissau already eliminated after losing both games so far. Meanwhile, Nigeria must simply avoid defeat against Guinea-Bissau, beating 4-2 by Equatorial Guinea earlier to ensure a top-two finish. In the Democratic Republic of Congo, DRC, three opposition leaders have jointly declared a nationwide protest scheduled for Saturday, that same day with President Felix Shisekedi's second term inauguration. The Electoral Commission reported Shisekedi's victory in last month's election with 73% of the vote. However, this outcome faced criticism as a sham from multiple opposition candidates. Allegations of fraud and ballot stuffing have been raised by the opposition leaders, leading to their call for a demonstration on the inauguration day. Despite the claims, the leading opposition candidates opted not to pursue a legal challenge and the Constitutional Court has validated Shisekedi's victory. And that's it on News Show for today. Many thanks for connecting. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel, News Trail. Have a fantastic weekend.